take a few minutes and show you how to make a fire with the magnifying glass. It's something I do quite a bit. I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you how. The first thing you'll need is a magnifying glass. I got mine at a Civil War reenactment because the plastic ones that you get at Walmart really don't work for this because they don't gather enough heat. So you want one that's actually glass. Mine is just, it doesn't even have a handle, it's just a piece of glass. Um, You'll also need some char cloth, which I make, but you can also buy it at um, probably any sporting goods store around. Um, leaves, I get a whole bucket full just to be on the safe side. Um, I get some twigs to kind of get your fire into a good blaze before you put on some really thick stuff to keep going for a while. And then your tinder is really important. I just get some dry grass. Um, pretty much anything that is thin and dry like this would work. but. Anyway, I take my tinder and I just, I kind of fold it up like this and then I make a pocket in there, a place to put the char cloth. And then once you get your char cloth started, you'll start blowing on that and after it catches that spark. Just start blowing on it and that's why I wear these safety glasses to keep the smoke out of my eyes because it does smoke quite a bit before you get it going. Off and stick it right in that little pocket or that hole that you made. And if you've never done anything like this before, you might want to practice with your magnifying glass on a leaf because the whole point is to get all the light that you can into one little bitty dot. And that makes the heat go to all in one place and it will start your fire. But if you've not done it before, try it on a leaf or something just to get some practice. But anyway, now that you've got your char cloth in there, you'll just do that to the char cloth to get the spark going. And start blowing right like this. And then put your leaves on there just to kind of get the fire going a little bit before you put your wood on. Get a few handfuls like that. That's another thing, don't leave it in there because it will break if it gets too hot. But after you get some sticks on there, put some more leaves on there just to keep the flame up. And it'll take it a few seconds to catch those sticks. But after it does, you can put on your big wood and you got a fire. <laughs>